Hey girl, hey, it's me, Amber D, and welcome to another vlog. And this is me getting used to my new camera. Alright, so this is my new camera. I am super excited. I'm filming on my phone right now. This will be the last video, hopefully, that I film for YouTube on my phone. Let's get this party started. Got some instruction manual cords and I believe these are the two batteries and yeah those are both batteries the charger or the connector this is the actual battery charger and then and then a piece the resistance So excited to finally be in business. But you prepare to be sick of me, okay? Because the vlogs are coming. How do I even get the, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now this is very much a starter camera. It's the exact one I asked for. I didn't want anything too high tech, too expensive just to kind of ease myself in, especially, I mean, I'm super clumsy in case I'm dropping it and everything while I'm getting used to it. Like, I didn't want to drop and break my first camera. I just wanted something that I could start off with and get used to this whole new process for me. Oh, oh, let me read some more about how all this stuff works and connects together before I start messing up stuff, but this is my Christmas gift. Thank you, baby. Hey, girl, hey. It is Tuesday, and I am about to package an order for my business. And this order is actually for a new brand ambassador that has just signed on to work with my boutique. Um, now, I am not at the point yet where I'm able to pay brand ambassadors to work with my boutique. So I have a brand ambassador package, and that includes one free item a month, um, a promo code for 50% off any additional items that you want after that, and then um, a personalized promo code to share with your friends or your audience. 15% um, off. So that is what uh, I'm trying to offer my brand ambassadors. Um, I want to hear from you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm about to package up this order. Um, I don't normally drop off packages and sell them today. It's just because it's just so dark so early. Um, but I do want to get this thing off our face. And I do need to um, run by Dollar Tree to get some things that I'm putting together that I need because I'm putting together a little coffee from in this box in our kitchen, but I also need to get some more tape um, for this package. So I'm going to go ahead and get a package, and then I'm going to run by dollars to get some things that can take from me to put up the post office to make it as much as you know how to do it. Hey It's a holiday gift box. 
um, a little bit that I had left over from um, So I just wrapped up at the Dollar Tree. I got everything I needed for my coffee and tea bar. And then this is my package here. I just got the tape I needed. Now I'm just going to go into the post office and drop it off. Hey girl, hey, it's Wednesday and I got some packages in, so I just wanted to kind of open those with y'all. This first one, um, I think this is a question I ordered, um, I was almost out of my favorite egg perfume, or at least my kind of favorite, and I ordered it, this is, it, this is the Island Vanilla by Pacifica. If you love vanilla fragrance, or even if you don't actually, this is just a really, a really, really fabulous fragrance. I don't know if you can even see, but 
is the Island Vanilla. They have different iterations of this same fragrance, um, and then they have different versions of the same fragrance that you can get. Um, oh, I love this. Girl, I love this fragrance. Um, the, it's from Pacific. If you've never heard of them, they have um, lots of different fragrances, like cult favorite fragrances. They have skincare, they have color cosmetics, and the whole brand is vegan and earth friendly and super good for you. So this particular fragrance is says inspired by the luscious Tahitian Island, this beautifully sophisticated exotic, exotic blend of Tahitian vanilla, love for its fruity and slightly floral aroma, anchored with creamy, rich bourbon vanilla. I think it's that rich bourbon vanilla that really gives it what it needs to give because like it's not a, a young girl fragrance, it's not a, a super sweet candy fragrance. It's 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 some good shit right here. And it's and it's only depending on where you find it, it's about twenty to twenty five dollars. I actually saw um another YouTuber, she was actually um doing like a um she was at Target doing a Target haul and she was really surprised to come by this fragrance because she said whenever she goes they're always sold out and i was just thinking the whole time sis i mean you can just go on pacifica's website themselves you can go to um i initially got um turned on to them i found it on amazon they also have it on walmart.com and like i said depending on what you find it, it's going to be about 20 25 dollars and that's the one ounce size and then i also got this came in today this i believe is um a super late christmas gift for my husband yes this is his so let me tell you, my husband, he loves gold. And for Christmas, I gave I gave him my phone with my Amazon account pulled up and I told him to put in what you want. And he wanted nothing but uh, bowling stuff. And he wanted a, a new pair of bowling shoes, a customized bowling shirt, and a customized bowling hat. If you can see, it has his, <laughs> his initials right there, AC, that's what he goes by. So this is gonna match the hat to the, the shirt that he got. But I had him order all the stuff he wanted, well, all the stuff he wanted for Christmas, all the bowling stuff. He put it in my Amazon cart on Black Friday, and I ordered what he wanted on Black Friday, and it said it was gonna be delivered between December 13th and December 19th. And here we are on December 28th. He's just not coming in. So needless to say, I did already reach out. They did already process my refund. So it's a good thing I actually already got him a makeup gift. Um, so he had something that's under the tree since I knew this one wasn't going to make it. So now he has a bonus gift. And then the last thing that came in um, for my little coffee bar that I um, stopped at Dollar Tree yesterday to get some of the other stuff, I actually also bought a... Um, it's called a, a mug tree, so it's just kind of like where you can a little stand for your coffee mug, but it's a whole DIY system. So it literally just comes in this box like this, and you have to put all the little pieces together. And I am not afraid of a good DIY project, so yeah, this is like the base for it. And then you just kind of put this in, and then all the little hooks here, or sticks here, you can hang your mug on. So that's what I'm actually going to be putting that together sometime before the end of the weekend. This week, between Christmas and New Year's, as, as not busy as I wanted it to be, I've been really busy this week. So I hope that I can get this up before the end of the weekend. I actually have a busy weekend as well. But that is it for the packages that came in today. Hey y'all, hey, it is Thursday, I think. Yes, Thursday. And I am um, just getting done with um, all my work stuff for today. And I'm about to do today's baby tour. Every day when I wrap up whatever I'm working on for the day, I try to do at least one baby tour. And that way it gives me less stuff have to do over the weekend. So today I am tackling this method up. Let's get started.
Hey girl, hey, it's Friday and we are about to do a Walmart run. <laughs> hey girl, hey, it is Saturday and we are getting ready for New Year's Eve date night, which is actually going to be a day date for lunch. We're going to get all dressed up like it is nighttime and go to our favorite date night restaurant. And my husband actually surprised me on Christmas and got me this fabulous dress with this super cute little gold and sparkly handbag and the jewelry. So we're getting ready now. Thank you, baby. <laughs> We're getting ready now. We're about to do a quick photo shoot because again, my husband is a photographer, and any excuse for him to do a photo shoot, any excuse for me to get some pictures taken of me. So we're gonna do that before we leave, and then we'll head out. Thank <laughs> you. 
My baby looking so handsome. Thank you for taking me out the New Year's Eve lunch, baby. Now let's get back to the house. We gotta get back home before the street lights come on. We old y'all. <laughs> okay, so we just got back home from our day date and our favorite day night restaurant. And right now I'm about to make a pineapple upside down cake, which is kind of says as our New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day dessert. And then by the time that's done, it'll be time for us to kind of wrap the day up and head outside to our backyard to the fire pit where we'll be out there to have some s'mores action and then ring in the movie. All right, this is my pineapple upside down cake base with my butter, brown sugar, pineapple slices, and my shiny cherries and then the actual cake mix. I'm about to pour this in, pop this cake in the oven, and y'all, I might. I'm about to pour this, pour my cake batter into, you know, on top of here, and then I might give me a nap in, girl. I am so sleepy. I'm gonna make this all the way till midnight to do this countdown, so I might need to give me a nap in. But I'm about to get this cake going, get this cake out, and chillax until later tonight. to do some manifesting and it's gonna be a good a good new year right baby Thank you. 